the importance of maintaining a healthy distance in relationships that matter the most. As a psychotherapist, I often meet individuals, couples, and families who at first describe the relationships that matter the most in their lives as very close, tight, and supportive. But the main question that peaked in my mind in that moment was that if he was willing to show this degree of anger publicly at his daughter's contrary opinions, how did he behave in private, and, despite the fact that at least one of the daughters wanted to return to sessions, I never saw them again. The entire field is surrounded with an electric fence to ensure the cows don't escape. On one side, there's the first family, a large close family of cows and, a football field apart, there's a second family of cows who could be characterized as close but supportive of individual choices. Imagine there's little space between the individual cows in the first family point one day. One of the members of the first close family casually bumps into the electric fence and the shock of this cow experiences immediately reverberates among all the other members. Each are affected to more or less the same degree, and, as a result, none are left to help support the others. On the other hand, one of the members of the second supportive family inadvertently bumps into the electric fence on their side, and because the members have maintained a healthy distance from one another, they notice one of them was affected by the shock but none of the others have been, consequently, all the cows of this family were available to support the affected member, but without having to take on the painful experience, themselves, so which is the healthier family? Obviously, the close and supportive one, not the codependent one, I use this story to illustrate the importance of maintaining a healthy distance in relationships that are important to us. In other words, this distance is vital in terms of being able to remain connected to ourselves, our own thoughts, interests, beliefs, and values, while similarly remaining connected to those we love. The connections aren't always simultaneous since there are times when we're required, or simply have a desire, to give primacy to own selves, and in healthy relationships this distance isn't viewed as threatening and, consequently, doesn't create feelings of resentment among members because it doesn't put at risk the connections we have to others of importance in our lives. Finding the balance between these two is an ongoing challenge for most of us, for sure, but it is possible. And, when individuals find that very sweet spot, their lives are deeply enriched, both as an individual and as a member of an important unit, so, which cow family do you belong to, are you threatened when those you love yearn for the space to experience parts of their life that don't directly include you? Or do you view that desire as the much-needed fresh air to keep the relationship dynamic and interesting? Similarly, are you bringing some of that freshness to your own life experience and to your own relationships in this important way? Perhaps it's time to assess all the important relationships in your life within this context. I'd love to hear how your assessment goes, so feel free to drop me a note to offer me your welcome perspective.